so th this is actually my area of my area of focus over the past five years i've been working on um the, the intersection between media and conflict so i've been examining you know media strategies by non-state violent actors like al-qaeda like isis and how they contest and um you know uh get into media conflicts with state actors in different parts of the world so when I came, I was really interested in offering something of that sort. So um, I basically came up or developed a course that has three main components. One component is how does the media cover, um, you know, uh, attacks, uh, whether and how they cover different attacks based on who committed the attacks. Is it coming from a white supremacy group? Is it coming from a neo-Nazi? Is it coming from a group from the Middle East? And how that impacts the way it's being covered. So that is component one. Component two is the contestation aspect, where students basically focus on different incidents that took place. And then they start to sift through the manifesto, for example, of the attacker, um, and how the person or the group frame their own attack vis-a-vis -vis the media. So here the, the media aspect from the perspective of the violent actor comes into play. And then the third component is now we know how media covers terrorism, how violent actors frame their actions in the media. How do we counter their, those messages using you know, campaigns from NGOs, from states, from um, INGOs, from grassroots initiatives, so those are the three main components.